Well, I'm glad you could join us. We are at Dominican University in San Rafael, in a beautiful place it is too. Uh, Rick Wells is with us once again. He is uh, President and CEO of the Chamber of Commerce at San Rafael. And uh, good to see you, Rick. How are things going since last time I talked to you? Good, good to see you, You're too. You're still smiling. Yes, things yes. Things are okay. Think, People come in are... here, they go, oh, no, the, the economy, uh, you know. Well, the economy is certainly a challenge, but I would say as far as our organization goes and our local economy, um, if I had one word to, to use, it would be stability. Oh. I really think that things are starting to stabilize and hopefully what that means is we've got a good foundation to move in the right direction. Okay, when I drive down uh, 4th Street in San Rafael, I don't see a lot of empty storefronts. Well, there are it's some. a couple. There are some, but um, given the fact of uh, where we are right now, all things being relative, it's not, it's not entirely a bad situation. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you say and have the feeling that things are turning around. We're getting that sort of a general feeling. Isn't that part of recovery? In other words, people have to start feeling like things are getting better, and then somehow they do. Yeah, I, I you think know, you, absolutely. You've got to feel it first before yeah, you can take the action. Yeah, there's psychological factor involved in that. You yeah, know? and if you look at um, our, our recent the recent data from Black Friday and Cyber Monday, oh, yeah. things are starting to pick up. And and uh, while I haven't had that direct. Um, contact with our members yet specifically about that because it was it only just, a couple days happened. ago yeah, right. um, I, I have a feeling that we're going to see some some good results locally as well yeah uh, when people come to you um, with various issues uh, are the, what are the main complaints uh, well we get uh, you know our primary driver yeah. is to, is to strengthen the local economy right. so if if we get complaints they're more about um, what can you do to help us solve this problem? I guess I should have phrased it that way. We're, they're looking for help. Uh, absolutely. Not, they're complaining about business is not that good. Can you help us? Yeah, I mean, of, of course yeah. we get some of those, but yeah. the, the majority of them that we get are, hey, I have a problem. How can you help me come up with a solution? Yeah. And that could be promote my business more, advocate for my business, connect me to other businesses that are in town, or help the community as a whole. And, and that's where the chamber kind of comes together to bring those businesses okay, together. We mentioned, we mentioned uh, storefronts uh, at San Rafael. Uh, somebody comes to the chamber and says, I've got X business and I'd like to set up in San Rafael. Can you help that person? You bet. That's... And guide them and say, okay, this, this space will work perfectly for your you know, your business. Absolutely. We can connect them to commercial property brokers. We can also connect them to Small Business Development Center counseling, SCORE counseling, um, the city, city resources, county resources that mm -hmm. they may need. We're kind of a one-stop shop for making sure that our economy is strengthened from within. Yeah, and another thing too with businesses and, and, a, and a smaller community, although Standard Fell is not tiny by any means, is the turnover in business. In other words, people have businesses, they get older, they retire. I mean, it's sort of a regener regenerating the, the kind of business you have in there to keep it young and vital. You know, you're involved in that kind of thing too. I mean, you're gonna look at a business and say, is this the business for our, our, our neighborhood, our area? Well, absolutely. I mean, our primary driver is the local economy as a right. whole, because if the local economy is healthy, then all the community services that our residents um, come to expect and, and deserve um, are available because the businesses help contribute to that local economy and make it stronger. So uh, we are looking for uh, quality jobs and jobs that can come in and um, provide um, sustenance for our community because without that, we all, we all struggle. Yeah, okay, we just have about 30 seconds left, but are you being affected by the fact there's an aging population in Marin County? Uh, yeah, you, you can see it in organizations across the county. I mean, there are 1,800 nonprofits, give or take a few, in, uh -huh. in, uh, in Marin. And, and those nonprofits, you're seeing the leadership age. And, and so what we're trying to do is incorporate some of the young business leaders into our leadership of our organization. Right? Yeah, Absolutely, okay. Jack. Uh, Rick, good to see you. Okay. Good to see you, too. Uh, Rick Wells has been our guest. He's president and CEO of the Chamber of Commerce in San Rafael. We're at Dominican University. Thanks very much for watching.